So the quick shift how to just want to go over with you real quick how I got here. So when you get the quick shift it comes with three basic parts. The little switch itself which basically senses when you're shifting gears and sends a signal to this wire to the ECU. And then two rods. Um, a shorter fatter one and then a longer skinnier one. This longer one threads into the switch itself, generally speaking, which is a smaller diameter threaded piece. The bigger one goes down here because where you connect down here is a bigger threaded rod than up here. And uh, I've actually read a couple of guys on the forum sort of despair because they didn't think they could make it. So the rods come, let me give a little extra light on this here, with these little bands in them where you can cut it a little more easily. It gives you sort of a guide, which was nice. I think I cut one section off of this big piece and three off of the uh, skinnier piece, and they just sort of thread together. But the idea is you want that plus that after you've cut it when it's screwed into that, and it's all screwed together to be about the same length as your original shifter rod. Now obviously when you're done with all that you want to screw it together with a little bit of force. Um, so um, these have a little flat spots on them where you can sort of grab them with a wrench and then give it the old shizmo down here. Um, and then you've got a wire that comes off of it that needs to be run up to your ECU. What I did was I came straight up through here. There's a spot in the frame right here that pops up right here. And I've got it underneath the side tank plasket. You can even actually see that part of the cable here. And it pops out up here and up here. So um, anyway, shifting part's not too difficult. Uh, one thing I'll say to get started that'll help you is disconnect. I usually, when I'm doing an oil change or whatever with the F, uh, with the R6, I take the shifter rod loose here and then just make sure I match up this flat line to that little dot there. But for this, it's much, much easier if you actually unscrew this little bolt here that's like an Allen fitting and uh, take it loose there because then you can unscrew everything and just pull it out. I didn't even remove the fairing when I did this. And it, and it really didn't get in my way. Um, one thing about this, when I first, the first couple turns, it actually sort of popped. Once you get that all assembled, you can just sort of drop it down in there and then thread it on this bottom piece and then shoot the bolt through right there and put it back together. So it is ready to go, um, but that's the sort of quick once over on how you assemble the rod. Honestly, if you're thinking of installing your own quick shifter, this shouldn't really require a whole lot of instruction, but um, in case you run into it and sort of get confused, that's how I did it. Uh, anyway, that's it for the rod itself install part. So you've got two of these things that go into your ECU. And if you'll notice this one, it's got a little device there that clicks down, hopefully you heard that, and pops these out, okay? On the side with the single big piece, you're going to turn this over, and if you look, you'll see this row has these little white plugs in it, and the one that's on the outside closest to that there is the one you want to pull out. There we go. See where little plug there at the end was fighting me. So, from where that came out, you're going to take this and plug it in. Okay? And you'll hear it make that little click there. I hope you did hear it at the end. Okay? 
And what that should mean is that that'll lock back. If it's not all the way in, if it's not all the way seated in, this will not push down when you try. So, um, just give it a good firm nick when you push it in and you're good to go. Okay, then last but not least, the last thing you really need to do to complete the install No, so this is ready to plug right back into the ECU. If only I had an ECU. All right, hey, back from the uh, mail. And the happy news is I got my um, ECU back. And uh, if you've never messed with these before, it's not a lot to it, but the way that it goes in is like so. And to get it out, basically, you just have to pull these two things back and lift, okay? It really is that simple. Now, that said, it's a lot simpler to plug these in. Just make sure you get the click. Make sure you get the click. Okay. Whoop. And you want to make sure both of those little dog ear thingies go over top of it. Yes, that, my friends, is pretty freaking cool. Being able to just run into third gear without really moving the throttle and knowing I can downshift the same. Yeah, it's pretty sweet.